Hey guys, it's your boy, Ballface8020, back again with another great commentary. Uh, first of all, sorry about the trolling title, um, but I will explain. Um, secondly, um, before Trump came onto the scene, and, and for most of Trump's first term, my primary concern was immigration. And it's just not something that, I mean, I still think it's a Im very important issue. I, I would stop short of calling it the most important issue. I, it's just that I don't see any realistic, I, I think talking about immigration is putting the cart before the horse. Like, of course I'm anti-immigration, mm -hmm. but the, I mean, the, with, on a, Again, practically speaking, there's no way to deal with immigration before liberalism is destroyed and, and really before the current, you know, fake monetary system is destroyed. You know, you would need to get rid of both of those things. And I'm not sure liberalism can be destroyed without destroying the monetary system first. And who knows how much longer that's going to take. So, like, you know, work on that front is important, and, you know, we've done a lot of good work, and, you know, certainly um, we're have, we have a lot of progress with Gen Z, and, I mean, the anti-immigration stuff has been mainstreamed way more than I would have imagined, like, over, like, t 10 years ago, you know. Um, a lot of you guys probably don't remember what it was like before Trump, because you couldn't say anything about illegal immigration then, let alone legal immigration. But that leads us into our next point. Um, you know, some of you guys may have seen this. There is, uh, you know, and it's topical because of the war in Gaza, the coming war in Lebanon, the um, the way that Bowman um, just lost his primary. Uh, for I mean, exactly why he lost his primary is not totally sure, but there was it was the anti-Israel stuff was at least part of it. I, I think he would have lost anyway. I'm, I'm not certain though. I think he would have lost anyway. Um, but, uh, and then on that front, though, we, I saw there's a thing coming out in, um, in Germany is saying that you aren't allowed to, this is the capacity, you are not allowed to become a citizen of Germany if you don't recognize Israel's right to exist. Now, so just a, a quick aside then on that particular law. Uh, I like that just like anything that trolls like the Rams, Pauls, and Nick Fuentes of the world, I support. So for that, you know, I'm, you know, for that reason, I support it. However, I also think it's part of like the law itself is part of the problem because it's, it's this idea that there's these, like that there's good immigrants and bad immigrants and that's false, you know, they're all, you know, they're all bad immigrants. And I'm way more concerned about good immigrants than I am about bad immigrants. Like, you know, the thing is, I don't want any immigration, okay, into any Western country. Like, I mean, I, I guess it's okay if Europe does it, but none, I, there's none in America. I, I really don't want any, I don't want any immigration into Western countries, except for some, like, very small scale you know, um, highly selected immigrants, but I'm talking very small and um, like very small amounts of basically people who've been married to American citizens for at least five years or have multiple children with American citizens. And even then it would be on a case by case basis. I, I would say at most America should allow in 10,000 immigrants a year, which is, which is a drop in the bucket. So that in America is the biggest. So that means Canada should allow like a thousand immigrants a year and the European countries even less. And actually, you know what? No, I'm not okay with European countries. I, I, I would go further. I would say that when, you know, maybe not Trump, but his successor, when we've established like a true dictatorship here, there needs to be, well, the European countries just can't run themselves. They're going to have to be appointed like American governors to oversee them. But then they're not, I would, they're not allowed to have immigration either. Um, but, as long as we're going to have large scale immigration, I would much rather it be Muslims than anybody else. And the more radical, the better, because 
I'm not really scared of, you know, radical immigrants who cause here and cause crime and cause trouble. If anything, they're kind of helpful because like I've said before, the whole system is rotten. You know, there's no, there's no reforming this Western globalist system. It has to be destroyed. And like, yes, even I would prefer, it would be better if all immigration stopped tomorrow. But if we're going to get immigration, we want the most, you know, unassimilable, dysfunctional, you know, violent immigrants we can get. You know, because the worst thing for us is to have a situation where, like, the, you, the, the whole dysfunctional nature of these large immigrant populations is what has caused so much of the anti-immigrant backlash. Like, what would the situation be like if we had just brought in, like, good immigrants who just kept their heads down and worked hard and stuff like that? And, you know, then it would, it would be a lot harder to rally this these anti-immigrant immigrant forces. And the disorganized, violent, dysfunctional immigrants have no threat, have, have no power. They have no way of ever achieving any power. They're complete nothings. But, like, the immigrants, especially from places like China and, to a lesser extent, India who are like very, very ethnocentric, very tightly knit, very organized. And in now India is not such a problem because they're not like an enemy of the Western states, but like Chinese, the Chinese immigrants are all Chinese nationalists. And, you know, they're going to, they're, I mean, again, and they're very intelligent and very organized. And I mean, what their goal is going to be is not, not to like take over or anything like that. I'm not worried about that. Um, and I don't even care about the conflict between the West and China. In fact, if anything, I kind of support China in that. But the, um, just because I hate the current West so much. But, but they, to, their goal is going to be to bring in a lot more of their countrymen, like, you know, at least their own relatives. And there's essentially an endless supply of them. And, you know, that's like, you know, it's hard enough to deal with the disorganized, violent immigrants. You know, the last thing we need is more, um, you know, intelligent, pseudo-assimilated, you know, pseudo, like I would say assimilated, but really pseudo-assimilated immigrants who, who see themselves as Chinese first or as Indian first. And, um, you know, really just don't, don't only care about milking these countries and bringing over as many of their family members as they can. Um, because, you know, a nation, you know, you don't want to get too sentimental about nation states, but the idea, like the America I grew up in, there was some sense of community, like there was some sense of shared American, American identity. And that doesn't exist now. And largely it's because of the left. The left has just destroyed what it means to be an American. So how can you see yourself as an American when you see like half the country or the more powerful part of the country as your enemy? And then for the left lost their American identity just because they don't, they are just nihilists who have no identity. But then also because a lot of America isn't America anymore. You know, it's, it's immigrants, it's, it's foreigner immigrants who have no attachment to America. And why should they, you know, I, I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't blame them. I don't, you know, I don't blame them for, I'm not going to demonize them for it. Um, but like, and I'm not saying that we need to repatriate or repatriate or however you say it, all the immigrants who are currently here. You know, the thing is, I, I think that it's going to take decades, maybe centuries to assimilate them. Um, but we ultimately they will be. I don't care about that, like racial purity shit doesn't mean anything to me. Um, but the thing is, the quicker we stop, I can tell you this for certain, the quicker we stop further immigration, the quicker we'll be able to assimilate the immigrants who are already here. Um so yeah, sorry that this this was kind of rambling, but TLDR, um, Islamic immigrants are the least damaging immigrants there are. That's all for now. See you in the next.